Hey, what's up, folks? Jay Marino here, continuing my playthrough of Legacy of the Confederation, a custom campaign for StarCraft 1. We are heading into the mini-campaign, which is called Fallen Angel. I don't really know much about the background of this campaign, though I think it's about some... It's basically like a secret organization within the Confederation. I don't know if it's sanctioned by the Confederation government or not, but I think it functions as like a black ops group that has its own aims. I don't know what those are, but perhaps this will... Uh, will show us. It's a little different. We don't have to launch any custom maps. It's actually built into the the, the single-player campaign like this. You just click that. Alright, Fallen Angel. It's been just over 338 years since the Zerg invaded Earth. The Confederation, the interplanetary government, rising from the ashes, vowed that no man, woman, or child would ever fear again. Never again would the human race be caught unprepared, and never again would we lose a war. But the policy was isolationist and reactionary. Politicians voted down every initiative to seek out the Zerg or launch a preemptive strike should they be found. To most of humanity, which now reaped the rewards of a new golden age, the Zerg issue was of little import. To some, however, this situation was unacceptable. Dionysus, Keeper Transport Sphinx, Slow Orbit Over Theta, Chandraskar, Abandoned Confederation Refueling Colony. Please be warned, use of the escape key or the invulnerability cheat code is discouraged. During the course of this campaign, Nexus Corps cannot be held responsible for any malfunctions in this campaign, should you use any cheat codes or press escape during gameplay? This is like a like a legal ramifications. It is now. Your assignment is as follows. You are to intercept an arms deal between a pirate group and a small protoss entourage. The pirates have developed a psionics based weapon with the aid of a quarter nine scientist who betrayed the order. Your primary task is to find and steal this weapon's prototype. Secondary task is to kill all persons involved in the exchange and destroy the installation. The weapon must be retrieved intact. Do you understand this? We have established a rendezvous at Point K, Route 241 at Tinsel City. We expect to hear news of your success in 96 hours. 96? <laughs> expect to hear from us in 48. Out. Damn! Infiltrate Remus's pirate base. Acquire the prototype Sonics weapon. Kill all in the exchange. Eliminate the Quarter 9 traitor if possible. This is very interesting. I don't know how this is going to fit into the existing happenings of Legacy of the Confederation. So Rachek basically seceded. He took two-thirds of the fleet with him, and then he annihilated the planet of Char, which had all of the renegade broods in it, which were Thrax's broods. Kerrigan still has the bulk of the Zerg forces under her control, though. Alrighty. But now we're just dealing with pirates. Dionysus, Confederation Military Refueling Outpost. December 17th, 2500! Day of Revelation. Attention incoming vessel, Sadao Nash's command. We are detecting no transponder codes from your ship. Please identify yourself. Over. <laughs> what the hell is this? Listen here, unidentified vessel. This is a Dionysus command. And I am in no mood for cloak and dagger here, so why don't you make this simple? State your purpose and your destination now. Unidentified vessel, let me make something clear to you. You are on a course to a Confederation refueling and resupply outpost. If you do not respond, I will have no option. Dionysus Command, Authenticator Tango, Bravo, Foxtrot. You are hereby instructed to repair and refuel the incoming transport. You are to take measures to ensure that this transport's presence remains a need-to-know classified fact. <laughs> Authentication confirmed. Please set course for 210. We'll clear unnecessary traffic from your flight path. Y'all have a real nice day now, you hear? Covert Ops. Why does Confed always have to send them to me? Interesting. G'day. Your attention, please. 
all departing civilian transports will not be permitted to leave the launch pads until 17.50 hours. We apologise for the delay and assure you that traffic will return to normal at that time. Thank you. You know what that sounds like, boys. The Fed's sending us another covert op ship. That's more this month if you're right, sir. Jacobs says these Black Ops guys don't even look like they're from Confed. Really? Yes, sir. He said they use some kind of voice modulator when they talk. Gave him the creeps. Well, Sarge, now I'm two things. Bored and curious. Let's go take a look at these guys. I'm not sure that's a good idea, sir. These hotshots haven't been too happy when our people get friendly with them. You worry too much, Myers. We'll be there and back before our spit hits the ground. Well, I don't know. Come on. It'll be fun, I promise. Use this civilian to operate the teleporter pads where Angel and her squad are. Have them use these teleporters, teleporters to reach the island with the launch area. The teleporters are south of Angel's squad. Move the civilian to the black flag for teleport. Oh, What's geez. Up? So much Go like uh, mission 17 here. Let's let's check All this right. out real quick. Bump up the game speed. The six purple flags. Each controls one of the teleporters at the south end of the colony. Only one teleporter may be active at a time. All right, so Got we just it. have to figure out what each of these does. Yep. All right. Colony Go living back. area now possible. Yep. Launch area now possible. Sure Primary power center. I'm so I assume... No where are we now? What is this? Okay, so this is... <coughs> we're in the power center right now. Okay, so we need to go to the launch pad, right? The launch area, which was this one. Okay, so let's turn that on and go and find which one that is. So this is pretty neat. So we have Angel now. Not Gerson Drake, unfortunately. She's... Really beefy, though. She's got 3 armor, 300 HP, does 20 damage. That's pretty great. So, um, no sign of hostilities on this map, but I'm sure there will be something. We just have to go and find our way to the launch pad. Again, very similar to Mission 17 with the teleporters. So it's one of these. Okay, that's the, to the living zone, which was this flag. Just gotta, gotta try to keep track of this. And then, what's this one here? Let's rock. Okay, that's to the power center, so it's got to be this Let's one. Rock. Unless there are more flags. Power relays malfunctioning. Repairs required in power coupling. If I had a credit for every time these teleporters Ready go down, waiting, I could buy this colony. Janine, see if you can find that road fell up to him to get his ass back to the power station. Sure thing, Uncle Bob. I think I know where he is. Find Ronan and inform him of the teleporter situation. You must use a teleporter to reach the colony island where Ronan is slacking off. He's currently in an SCV construction suit. You need the ceiling you currently have in the power station in order to activate the teleporter to the colony okay, living area, you. which was this beacon let's over run. here. And then this yep. is the colony one. No oh, there's... Actually, let's sure just thing. see what these are. <laughs> Excuse me. What these are. From power... Oh, so... This is to go there from the main hub area, and these are to return, I assume? Yes, okay. So let's go ahead and unlock to... Oh, okay. Too, too many triggers here. That's launch area. This this It's this one, I believe colony living area. Excuse my cough, I'm still getting what over that I cold, so now I have waiting, the sir. the lengthy what cough that comes after the, the cold that happens every time. Alright, take us there. Okay. What's the matter, sir? Sam just stole my wallet. <laughs> Are you tired of Santa picking your pocket? Come on down to Milton and Chadwick's 5th Anniversary Christmas Extravaganza. Ready and waiting, we've sir. We've got vids, we've got mock masers, game, VR simulators, Let's and the rock. largest collection of Cherry Annie dolls this side of Theta Chadrescar. Everything is priced to sell, so come on down before Santa leaves on you out in the cold. What the hell is this? Is this him? That's a confident engineer. Let's rock. Hey, Rodent. Let's rock. Follow Let's Rodent. Rock. Okay, so he's he's here. Let's on just follow way. him. Strange Let's Christmas rock. related advertisements. So that the Let's rock. holiday of Christmas lasted through Let's the desolation rock. of Earth. On my way. Head him out. All right, Rodent, come on. Let's oh, there's rock. another SCV. Let's, Let's just take the rock. other guy with us. On my way. You're trapped, Let's dude. Rock. Commander Reeves wants you back at the power station. Like now. Oh, Angel, come on. I just need to beat this level real quick. Help Roden beat his game so he will go back to work. Use the turret in the middle to manually target the enemies. If you lose this mission, will end, so save your game. What the hell is happening here? So this is Fallen Angel 01. Okay. Defend Earth from the evil Zerg. Yep. 
At least one human b building must endure. This is very interesting. Uh, very interesting. Okay, yeah, it's definitely 1A. Okay, two shots for these. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. Very, very, uh, not strange. It's kind of cool, like, we're living in the future in the Confederation universe, where now we see... Uh, hit these, splash damage. I don't know how many waves there are going to be. There we go. This also might be one of those instances where maybe we're supposed to lose. Who knows? Okay, those bunkers are going to go down to my own splash damage. And... Maybe only three waves. But it's interesting to think that there's a... Uh, oopsies. Oh, don't boo at me. <laughs> it's interesting to think that, like, this is... Since this is the future history of uh, the Confederation universe, there's games to play of the past where the Zerg took Earth and were holding them back or something like that. It's very, very interesting. One more shot. There we go. Not going too well for me. Come on. Nope. Oh, that was a good shot. I don't understand why sometimes I do a ton of damage to them, and sometimes it's not nearly enough. Am I, like, leveling up or something? I don't think so. There we go. That was okay. Oh, no, no. Attack the, the Hydralisks. Yeah, that was not bad. I don't know how many more waves there are going to be, but this isn't looking too good for me. Get him. Get him, Siege Tank. Uh, quite an interesting take. <laughs> so we're playing a video game to progress this mission. Uh, you can tell, though, that the quality has certainly gone up with this campaign. Congratulations, you've defeated the evil Zerg. Rodan has returned to work and repaired the power coupling. You may now resume your quest to sneak a peek at the Covert Ops personnel. Okay, so let's go to the hangar now, which was this one? Yeah, launch area. Which was sir. this beacon. Let's rock. Head him out. Let's rock. Let's see if we can get some Let's info rock. on what's going on here. Here's Teleport successful. Here. Let's get this guy to go to. Now we're over here. Ready and waiting, sir. What is this right here? Data disk. Well, we don't need that. Let's go ahead and throw down a save. Standing by. I'm not really sure what else Head to say out. about this. It's certainly Let's different. It's certainly different. So you know, I'm trying to get a handle on how this fits into the existing story. Way. Obviously, we're Head you know. Out. At a confederation base, yes, we're trying sir. to check out the Sorry. spec ops people. This is a restricted area. Yeah, right. Whatever. Step aside, Sergeant. I can't do that, sir. You don't have authorization. Sergeant, get that stick out of your butt, and the next time you play poker with us, you're not getting a handicap. Sir, I'm truly sorry. I have my orders. What seems to be the problem, Sergeant? Nothing, sir. Just a few looky loos. I beg your pardon? Indeed. If this Confederation rebel attempts to enter the restricted zone, Sergeant, remember that you are to use lethal force. That is not a request. Uh, let's go, Angel. Hey, tall, dark, and handsome. Where are you going? We haven't been introduced yet. Angel, let's go. Eh, these covert guys are all show no go, Sarge. Don't let them intimidate you. Not these guys. Trust me. I'll tell you about it later tonight. I'll buy you dinner. Dinner with you is not exactly on my top ten to-do to list, Sarge. Drinks and everything. Can we just go? Chicken a la king? Whatever you want. You got a deal, Sarge. Put those credits you stole from me in last night's poker game to good use. Kind of like I'm buying myself dinner, but what the hell. All right, people. Back to machine land. Move out. Sir, we have another unidentified vessel. Uh, make that two. They're not responding to comms. I'll tell you, Darren, I'm getting pretty damn tired of this. Attention unidentified vessels, this is Dionysus Command. Please identify yourselves and state your destination. Alright, listen up. I don't care who sent you people or who you think you are. I am not going to waste my time talking to dead air. Now, are you going to answer me? Or am I going to shove a wing of race up your tailpipe? Oh, the hell with this. You hotshots are too good to respond, that's fine by me. Darren, lower the defense grid and transmit the landing coordinates. I am going to lunch. Yes, sir. 
Uh, you're going to lunch when they didn't answer you? Just assuming that they're fine? This is CNC to the Power Relay Station Bravo 19. What the hell's going on down there? STAs are losing power all over the bloody place. Well, gee whiz, Darren, I don't know. Could it be a power overload, maybe? It's only the second one we've had to die. We do have four Jetty to the work of 16 down here, you know. But we'll get it going like we always do, don't you worry. I might have request you ask Con Fair if that overdue supply ship is traveling here with one frickin' engine. We could really use those power calls. Anyway, we're taking the lights offline for a bit, so we have enough power to restock these things. Bravo 19 out. A series of colored beacons will flash in the center. Move the SCB to those beacons in sequence. Doing so repairs the power relays. Moving out of sequence will short circuit the system again. What? What is happening here? Okay. So let's find the first one. Not that one. No. Purple. Purple. Okay, so it's, let's do, it's like Simon Says practically. Purple. Oh, it's telling us the order that we have to do it in here. So, purple. What? So, does that mean we have to start over, I assume? Purple. Okay, and then it was blue, wasn't it? Blue. Partial connection established, and then it was yellow. Hopefully I'm doing this in the right order. Circuit complete. Okay, that... Was that it? Oh, no. Okay, let's go... Purple, black, blue. I see, so we just have to follow the flashing lights. That's all. And... Okay, yellow, teal, purple, black. Yellow, teal, purple, black. I'm not good at Simon Says, so... <laughs> especially because I'm commentating. Yellow, teal... Purple, black. What you can always do is type it to yourself in the chat if you need to keep if you need to keep track of that. I don't know why I'm given two SCVs. Circuit complete. Alrighty. Blue, black, teal, black. Blue, black, teal, black, yellow. Blue, black, teal, black, yellow. Blue. Black. Teal. Black, yeah, it just moves my SCVs no matter where, I, where, no matter where I move them, so it's just gonna be slow each time. Yellow. Oh, that was it. Full power. Okay, I'm like, if there's more to this, I'm gonna start having trouble. <laughs> it's gonna be real embarrassing for me. CNC power is online. Yeah, took you long enough, mate. Next time, eat your lunches after you restart the generators. You know, not everyone in here has a flashlight to use while we wait for your lazy asses to turn the power back on. Maybe you shouldn't try running launch pads, maybe defense launchers, and all the bases power off of four energy cores. Don't be getting a chip on your shoulder, Darren. Remember, I know where you live. Ow. I'm back from lunch, Darren. Oh, by the way, make sure you don't eat the turkey at Janine's place today. I don't know if they didn't cook it right or what, but Montezuma is definitely having his revenge on me. Huh, diarrhea. Sir, those covert guys are incoming. Still nothing on the comms. How many are you reading, Darren? Unable to tell, sir. A couple hundred or so. Here they come now. No way, Darren, that can't be. Got better not. A couple hundred ships would set off alarms from here till Christmas. What the hell happened to the early warning system? You had me lower the defense grid, sir. Authenticator Tango, Charlie, Alpha, Confederation Command, this is Dial Nasus, my calling is 17, requesting immediate assistance. We are under attack. Respond, God damn it. This is Confederation Relay Station 156. Report status. Relay Station 156. What part of attack do you not understand? Our status is that we have over 200 incoming bandits. We need help and we need it now! Roger that, Dionysus. We have a patrol led by the CFS Jupiter running maneuvers in Data Chandrasar. They have been informed of your situation and are en route. ETA, four hours. Four hours? My god. Command, we won't dollars off if we can. Dionysus, I have. Darren, 
broadcasting evacuation and get the shivvies the hell out of here. Make sure my base gets off this rock alive. Roger that, Commander. Uh. Save. Your attention, please. Dionysus is on red alert. All civilian personnel are to evacuate the colony immediately. Repeat. All civilian personnel. Lieutenant, sir. I need you to come with me right now. No questions asked. What the hell's going on here, Corporal? This colony is on alert and me and my squad are stuck babysitting machine land. I have no time to explain, sir. We need to evacuate before... What? The colony's blown to bits? Sorry. I'm not going anywhere until the civilians are evacuated. I'm in the military, remember? First on world, last on world. Commander's order, sir. I need you to come with me right now. My uncle knows I can take care of myself, Corporal. Sir, I don't really give a damn who thinks what. I have orders. Hendrix, grab her. Back off, Corporal. Or I'm gonna turn your head into a canoe. You got me? You gonna shoot me, Myers? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's go, guys. Oh, by the way, Myers, your sister is the best damn lay I've ever had. I'll write it on your epitaph. <laughs> well, what now? Now? Pray this place doesn't fall apart until we get the civilians onto the transport. Then let's do it. Evacuate all civilians, use the tele- Well, okay, wait. Wait, let's save right now, read it, and then just reload so that we don't have to worry about it. Oh my god, 40 fucking minutes. God damn it. Use teleporters to move civilians to the launch area. No more than 10 civilians may be lost. Use SCVs to construct additional troops to protect them. Sensitive areas and build missile launchers as needed. Okay, you guys get mining, get some more SCVs, get medics, I suppose, just early on. We leave one civilian in the power area to operate the teleporters. Angel must survive. 40 minutes to evacuate all of them. Good lord. Okay, well, where are the civilians? Let's group them up. Get all the civilians possible over here. Oh my god, this base is huge. Oh god, this base is huge. Everybody come over here. Wait, where are the teleporters, actually? We need to get everybody to the teleporters, which were down. Are these guys... Oh god. Oh god, what a fucking nightmare this is going to be. Okay, well, we can't build anything out of the starports. What is this constant ping? I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Uh, I, I keep saying, oh, Jesus, oh, God, because I just have a feeling this is going to be terrible. Okay. So, start building... Start building lots and lots of stuff over here. Lots and lots of turrets. Okay. I don't know why this guy's holding a data disk. Start making this stuff. Okay, we don't have we don't have siege tanks over here, but we're gonna need to make more troops. You guys move over here, so we need to get to the launch base. So first thing I'm gonna do is start evacuating the area that I already have set up. Where is the civilian to control my to control the beacons? Where'd they go? I don't understand. Oh, it's uh, I'm looking right at it. I feel like such an idiot here. Okay, so you try to make it inside here. Make it inside here. And let's just keep making turrets along the inside. Can they even get in? I don't think these I don't think these civilians can make it. Can they get inside? There's gotta be a way in. Oh yeah, they can go up and in. Okay, so what we need to do is power up to the launch bay. Teleportational launch is now possible. So what we want to do is move all the civilians here. Start moving as many as possible over to this beacon. And get as many out of the first area as possible. So let's look around. Oh, wait, 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 no. So they come down here to these beacons. This was the launch bay over here. So let's just start moving as many civilians in the main area here as possible. Then we'll start worrying about getting other civilians out. So it's kind of like a practice routine earlier. Is that going to work? There we go. They're moving to the launch pad. Move all these guys over to this beacon. We need way more turrets over here. Oh god, poor civilians are going to die to splash damage. We need lots more turrets over here. This is going to be quite challenging, I can already tell. Alright, those those have made it. Okay, 
You guys need to get on the beacon. You guys need to get on the beacon. You guys need to please teleport immediately. Okay, meanwhile, you guys keep making turrets. Lots and lots of turrets. We're still mining minerals, which is good. What can I do for you? Uh, this is... There's a lot to be concerned about here. Also, I'm not familiar with the layout of my base very well, which is what is going on here. Um, well, that's fine. You know what? I'll just leave them there. So we need to make a group of units to move over here and retake this these beacons. So I think we've gotten all the civilians from the first area out. I think. So now let's move our civilian and try to get someone out from the other area. So let's go... Where's the next one? This is... Uh, no. no, another one is not in use. Oh, it is in use. Whoopsies. From pr no, okay, not power center. We're not going to evacuate the power center yet. From the launch area now possible. That we don't need that. Everyone's gone from the launch area. From the colony living area. So, are there any civilians left over here? I don't think so. Well, these are the ones we sent. So you guys evacuate. Okay, you guys keep mining. Get some of these guys on gas. We're going to get a bunch of Goliaths, a bunch of Marines, M. And then we need to just kind of set up bunkers everywhere, I think. So what I'm going to do is start setting these up wherever I can. Okay, what's going on down here? We have civilians. This is the colony area, so we're going to start moving these civilians. And once we get all the civilians moved, we could just sort of abandon these other places. Okay, so from the colony living area, we want to start moving everybody as soon as possible. Okay, good. This is going to send them back to the main area, and then we can move them. Or we should be able to move them, theoretically. So they're going to all be back here. Good, good, good. Alright, let's just focus on getting everybody out, because this is where most of the civilians are. Okay. And here. And anybody here? There's one. Oh, there's a bunch over here. All right, all of you, move over to the beacon. You guys get on the beacon. Sorry, this is uh, more stressful than it seems, because I don't know how frequently the Zerg are going to be attacking or anything like that. In fact, I might just move everybody out of the colony center. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run, civilians. Civilians, run. Get on the beacon, civilians. Come on. Warp. Warp. Everybody, please, just warp. I don't care about this colony. I don't care about this area right here for now. Please escape. Please escape. What? What? Please escape. Is this maybe we have to power this up? Well, that's not good. Okay, for some reason, these are not able to escape. So, well, I guess let's just keep making turrets over there. All of my civilians are here now. I guess I could send them over to the dropship, but... Are they... No, they didn't get taken. Let's just send a few at a time. Come on. Oh, that's real bad. Oh, that's real bad. Maybe they can only get taken within certain time periods. So, four civilians lost. Okay, build turrets. And, uh, let's keep building bunkers down here. I thought I queued up a bunker there. I guess I just didn't want to build, huh? Okay, so all of you need to start going over to the all launch right. bay. Right. This area is fucked if they attack it. I need SCVs... SCVs over here to start making lots and lots of turrets. No power to teleport. We have to move our guy to... to the launch bay. Wh which other one is in use? Oh, up here. Whoops. It's hard to keep track of this. Okay. Hop on there. Launch area now possible. Lots of units coming up from over here. I should have maybe focused more on defense before getting my units out. I can't evacuate these civilians. There's there. I, what am I supposed to do? Come on. Son of a bitch. Oh, that's so bad. Okay, well, is that is that it? Like, am I just fucked? Because there's not. I mean, I'm not sure what else to do here. Okay, you guys hop in here. Make more. Bunkers. I guess I should make bunkers up here as well. You guys load up. Keep making turrets here. And I'm just going to keep sending my civilians over there. No. Are these guys even getting sent? Okay, power this up, please. What's happening here? Okay, come on. Launch area now possible. Maybe we have to move them off the, off the teleporter and then back on. 
Okay, the slight bugginess of this is what's causing this to be quite frustrating. Because we are not able to teleport right now. Alright, come on. Maybe it's because these guys are, like, on a beacon. Teleport successful. Alright, so now they're starting to go. Okay, that's good. We just need to make more and more turrets down here. So that the bounce doesn't hit as many civilians, I suppose. We've got this stuff going. Uh... I can't tell if some of these are getting taken and some of them aren't. You guys hop on over here. I'm just going to surround this area with turrets, with, and hopefully it would be most defended. So do we, do we have to evacuate the civilians? Move all civilians to the minimap. Ping in the launch area. No, okay. Oh, so it's not, that, it's not that we have to survive for 40 minutes. It's that we have to complete this within 40 minutes. I see. Okay, well, let's keep making Goliaths then. Turrets. Turrets. This area, go ahead and repair. You guys hop in A bunker here. And uh, keep making Goliaths. That's fine. And then this area down here, we need to just keep transporting civilians. It's just they're not being evacuated. Oh, oh, they took some of them. They took some of them. I don't know why. I don't know why. That's fine. Okay, all of you move in here. All of you move in down here. Come on. Yes, okay, now they're getting evacuated properly. I was really, really nervous. Okay, so we just need to last long enough to get the civilians out. Otherwise, it doesn't matter if the rest of my base pretty much goes down. Okay, come on now. Good, 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 good. Okay, so this isn't. This won't be as bad. We're, we're alive. You know, making some Goliaths has been functionally helpful. It's just the area by the teleporters and the power plant and the power area needs to stay alive, and we're, and we're fine. Okay, got him. You guys keep moving. You guys keep moving. I'm mostly just focused on this. No power to teleporter. Oh, okay. Well, my civilian died that was on the beacon. Or no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Okay. Oh, that, that went down. Make one of these. Now, we're going to have to start focusing on getting some of these guys out here pretty soon. Oh, there's civilians up here. We've only lost four, though. Uh, we'll worry about these later. Keep going to the keep going to the beacon. Please escape as soon as possible. Maybe they it only takes them in chunks of of certain amounts. I I assume. Okay, you guys move on down here. Oh, okay. They're just gonna run by this stuff. That's you know that's fine. Okay, so these civilians have all been taken. You get over there. Let's see if we can. We'll try to sneak these guys out here in a second. Actually, let's do that now. So living area is over here. Oh, it's from. No, no, we have to take them from. God, this is... It's its harder... This is much harder than it seems, trust me. Okay, so this is fine. We just need to get these two civilians out. Where were they? Over here, right? Yeah. Hop on there. Okay, we got Goliaths coming out. We need more Marines. Okay, you guys need to get evacuated as soon as possible. We've only lost four so far, which is great. Come on. Come on. Yes, maybe you need just a certain amount on the beacon for them to get taken at all. That's what I'm assuming at this point. You guys all move over here. Uh, we had two civilians here. We need to move these. Um, next thing we're going to do is is from the power plant. Someone's getting left behind here, unfortunately. From the launch area, no. Come on. All right, from primary power center. So you three are going to escape. We've only lost four civilians, and I don't think we have that many left. Okay, hop on over here. They're not getting picked up. Base is under attack. What are you doing up there, buddy? All right. Now, we've re rescued those civilians, so now we have to get from the power plant, or, or to the launch bay, to the launch bay, which is the middle. There we go. Which is... We're losing things very, very quickly now. That's because I've consolidated my defense in this area. If we can get these civilians out, then I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. All right, you guys run. Angel is pretty much dead. Let's just run her to the launch bay if she can make it. No, 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 not that way, you idiot. Does she need to survive? Oh, she's invincible. She's invulnerable. All right, you guys get on the beacon here. You guys run. That's pretty much... I mean, we're pretty much done at this point, but we've evacuated all the civilians except one. So if we can evacuate this group... There we go. Ready and waiting, sir. 
And that's that's it. All remaining civilians have been evacuated. You must now evacuate colony administration. The launch area is too hot for dust off, so all administrators must be moved to the primary power center to rendezvous with a special transport. Locations of the administrators are as follows. Oh god. I didn't <sighs> Okay, so I think I'm in a much better spot now. Uh, let me group up my remaining civilians. I think I'm in a much better spot now. Uh, I have evacuated many places, and I'm in much better shape in terms of defense. I'm just going to go ahead and get random sets of defenses just kind of around, because I figure, why not? They like to send me and send attacks all over the place. I like my SCVs getting stuck behind the, uh, the minerals over here. Um, I guess we can fortify this area. Let's go ahead and, uh... Oh, I've got some more civilians up here. We want to get all of these out, so let's, uh, consolidate down here, and you move down here. Do we have more in this area? I don't think so, but we might as well consolidate anyone that's left. There's a civilian. There's a civilian. Let's get all these guys inside, at least. We'll worry about them in a second. How are we doing with the actual evacuation? Let's get all of our civilians to this area, and then, we're pr and then we have to be prepared to actually evacuate with all of our maybe military units after, but we have to get those administrators. Is Isn't that right? We have to get all those administrators to somewhere, to the, uh, I believe it was the power center. So let's just get some medics and marines here. And uh, I did get a tech lab, or not a tech lab, a machine shop. You cannot get uh, siege mode, unfortunately. So at a certain point, I guess it just doesn't matter. I got marine range there. Uh, this is going fine. Let's see. Now my question is, can you lose any administrators in the in the final evacuation? Because if not, then I suppose I need to be prepared to go out and get them. Because the one that would spawn here would be just totally fucked. I I mean I have to I'd have to send people through the beacon here to go and get them. Which suffice to say is a is a pain in the ass. But I would do it, um, assuming I have a good save. Because now I have a save right up until this area and I'm feeling pretty comfortable at this point. Let's go ahead and throw these guys in these bunkers. And might as well just get missile turrets just, again, all over the place. Like, all over the place, because uh, they just seem... They just send huge groups. Huge groups at you. We need to do from the power plant, which may be this one. Bump up the game speed if possible. Okay, we've got three civilians here. Six civilians here. It's five civilians here. This guy's got to stay. Okay, you're, you guys are trying to activate the other teleporter. Just go. No? Okay. Off the beacon, back onto the beacon. Uh, the timer makes this one kind of annoying, as I am I'm, I'm want to say. It's uh, it's quite annoying to deal with this kind of stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and do to the launch bay. Again, it's the kind of the pathing. Um, having to deal with the pathing and keep very close track of all that kind of stuff. Nope, nope, nope. Actually, go on the beacon. And take care of all that kind of stuff while uh, there's a time limit. Is uh, it's it's something. It, it's certainly something. Okay, we're in really good shape. Uh, again, just random random mutalisks. I don't know where those are going. More coming from this direction. This area down here. I'm not really sure what to think. Maybe what I could do is just start throwing down some missile turrets over in this area. Uh, I should have an SCV here. Yeah, we've got to start making I guess some more missile turrets here. Okay, these guys are good. Let's move them over here, and we're, we're making our final preparations to make sure that we can evacuate the uh, administrators. Aha! Okay, so here's that group that spawns in the middle of all, all of our shit. Fuck you, assholes. I was ready for you. Okay, so all of my civilians, except the one that's operating in the power plant, has been moved. Yes. So let's save... Again, and let's start moving. Let's start getting these civilians out. So let's move this group. But well, we'll move them over here when the next evacuation ship comes in. Move on up, friend. And there we go. That should be all of them. All remaining civilians have been evacuated. You must now evacuate colony administration. The launch area is too hot for dust off, so all administrators must be moved to the primary power center. To rendezvous with a special transport. Locations of the administrators are as followed. All right, let's take a look at this. I saved right before this. All right, one's in the launch area, so we're going to get them out. These ones are going to be the hardest. I might have to send units over to get them. Okay, so let's grab uh, from 
not the pr power center, from the launch bay. Yeah, from the launch area. That's here. So you guys, let's get out of here. Your forces are under attack. Okay, you're good. All right, they're breaking through. Pretty large amounts of stuff here. We have to hold this off until we're until we're ready to go. Just lots of ultralisks, really. Uh, keep making units. We have 22 minutes. Keep making goliaths. Reasonable amounts of ultralisks makes this uh, terrifying. Infantry armor, sure. Again, we just have to focus on surviving this. Okay, my civilians are here, so... Uh, what's going on over here, though? SCV, scout it out. Are we safe over here to, like, make a run for it with these civilians? Because I think we... No, we're not. Okay, you guys move over here. Uh, okay, so we have to do to the power center. No, 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 no. Uh, to the power core. Good. So you guys can move here to the power core. Keep making units, please. Uh, I guess start making some tanks as well. Keep making marines. Keep making turrets. Okay, did they make it? No, they did not. Did they just not go on the beacon? No, not the launch here. Oh my god. Uh, not here. No! Here. There we go. Launch area is going down, but that's okay. And you guys go on this beacon. No power to tell. Oh, did I do the launch? Ugh. Ugh. Which one is the, the power center? It must be this one up here. So you guys move up here, not you. I guess let's send our hero up there too. There we go. Good, good, good. These guys need to be rescued now, though. So we've got these guys coming in. Let's do... We have to do to the living area. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and send a group of stuff to the living area here and medics as well, because we need to clear this area out to get these administrators. Okay, medics have made it. This area is kind of fucked, but again, that doesn't matter. Come on. Warp them in. I, I want to make sure I have enough here so that I can actually kill this group of hydralisks. It's not many, but it's something. Alright, you guys just start attacking. Meanwhile, you guys get moving. Just in time for more mutalisks, I suppose. Alright, you guys move to the teleporter. We need to do from the living quarters now. So you guys move on up here. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay, good. So you guys get back, and then we can evacuate all these military units too and consolidate. Good, 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 good. And then we have to do to the... To the power center. I'm getting the hang of it, sort of. Uh, I believe it was this one, right? No. Here. Two power... Yes. So, now you guys... Go to the power center. Please be it. Please be it. Okay. Uh, we're here. So we have to go to this beacon, I suppose? For the administrators, I believe we have them all. Ready and waiting, sir. Yes. What can I do for you? Yes. Don't tell me there's more. Uh, that was all of them. I swear to God, that was all of them. Are there any civilians that I'm looking at in here that I'm missing? I haven't even lost a single one. None here. None here. I'm gonna cycle a save because I I feel like I'm I've i pretty much done it. But there's a civilian that seems to have not made it. It's pinging this beacon. There's a civilian right there. Is it her? No. Where the fuck is the last one? I meticulously got all of them. I'm checking everywhere on the map. I got the two that were here. No. Lots of overlords coming in. Got him. Okay, I'm checking my groups as I as I box as well, just to see if there's more. Keep making sure make more Goliaths. Make more Marines. 
You guys move out of the mineral lines in case maybe there's a civilian in there that I'm missing. Where could they be? Is there one, like, outside the complex now? Ah, wait! Oh my god, if this is it, come on. Get over there, buddy. No, he was the one that was running the... The power control centers. Ah! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Please be it. Civilians have been su successfully evacuated with minimal losses. Evacuation of military personnel is under well underway. Well done. So the Zerg have begun attacking Confed space. This is something unheard of. This is Rasputin. Operational awakening has been carried out as of 1400 hours. The tribunal is standing by to receive your flight recorders at the rendezvous point. Is there anything else to report? Yes, I believe we discovered a primer. She has proven herself to be a formidable part of this colony's defense. She is worthy of further observation. What is her UMC designation? I believe they call her... Angel. Angel. She's very much like Gerson Drake. She's very casual in, in the heat of combat. Oh, looks like Myers is probably dead now. Oh, no, no, no. Now we're controlling her. Run to the dropship at the beacon to escape. All right, well, let's just fucking go. Go. Go, please. Go, please. Just stim and go. Destination No, what are you doing? Huh. Oh, of course. Sure. Yeah, that's that's something that of course would happen. There's more. We're probably going to have to run more, perhaps. What can I do for you? Head him out. Run to the northeast teleporter and escape to colony living area. Jesus Christ. Oh, there's a dropship. <laughs> On my way. Head him out. Uh, possibly up here is what it's talking about. Let's not run. not this beacon, right? Let's yeah. So we have to go up here. Oh my god. Okay, well, let's do a new cycled save. <clears throat> stop! Stop moving my stop moving my camera to do that, please. I lost a lot of units already. Ooh, okay, it's uh, it's tough only because, again, the, the path, it gets hard to keep track. Four power cores can take the strain of every gun from the laser. Something's gotta give somewhere. I can get the teleporters up. You're gonna lose some of your SDA covers so I can reroute the power. In other words, dig in. Oh god, use SCVs to reestablish power to the teleporter. To do this, you must use the power relays in this room to transform all of the power cells in the next room from black to blue. Angel's team can only out for five minutes. Jesus Christ. These missions just don't end. And, like, it was hard enough at the beginning with the holdout and moving the civilians with the, like, semi-confusing slash broken triggers. Uh, it's just... <laughs> it's tough. It's tough. You know, I hate to complain, but again, it's it's more StarCraft 1 than the idea of these maps. The idea is solid, but the execution is limited by how much they can really do here. Move them all from black to blue. How? Oh, God. So we have to see what changes what, basically, and then get them all blue. Is that correct? Use the beacons to turn all the beacons in the following room from black to blue. Oh, my God. Oh, God. All right, so yellow. I hate these kind of puzzles. Honestly, I usually just run over certain, like, just, just in certain orders until I figure it out. Okay, well, here we go. So, upper left, I can't tell what's changing when I use these things. So if I do this... Black, black, it, that didn't change anything. That did literally nothing for me. So why don't you come on here, down here and try this one. That one changed the bottom 
the bottom one, right? Okay, so that's fine. So let's try this one. Black, black. That changed... Oh, that changed them all to blue. That's... Oh, wait, what, what? It worked. I don't know why that worked. Again, I just sort of hit stuff, and it worked. That's how I do those kind of puzzles. I hate those kind of puzzles. You were about 30 seconds to charge, you could go on through. Well, crap. <laughs> Engineer Bill, no! Move Angel to teleport over the Zerg, destroy the power center. Another skiff is standing by in the main complex. Alright, we did it. It's just her. Just stim. I'm running in a circle till this is done. Okay, and that should do it. Intense last section because it's so easy to lose, and then you could just. Oh, come on. Please. Oh my god. I am I am literally right on top of him. That's back here. What can I do for you? Head him out. Please, just let me get on the beat. Why? Why you do this? I'm uh, Let's check over here. It's cuz it's pinging down here. Let's rock. Oh my god. Okay, well hey. Uh Let's rock. I guess I'll load the save again and do another cut. I Let's very frustrating, very frustrating at times. Like what? Just because again, the triggers just I they're very complex for StarCraft One, and it seems to just sort of break sometimes. I see. So we're supposed to get left behind. So again, the trigger wasn't necessarily broken, it just, well, it was, because it didn't fire when it was supposed to. I guess I needed to kill all the Zerg first. Oh god, now what? Maybe the Covert Ops are going to come and save us because they want her. I don't know what Covert Ops was doing, it's almost like they initiated the Zerg invasion. Gets five big to big straights. Speaking of that, has anyone actually seen the commander? Who knows? Maybe she had a sunstroke and died. She is in the comm room, being debriefed. Why doesn't she brief us after they brief her? Don't be naive. She's not being briefed. She's reminiscing about this god forsaken waste, probably staring out the port window, wishing for a better world. What the hell are you talking about? You don't know. Surprise me. The Zerg attacked a colony here eight years ago. I am nice as I believe it was called, and now a beloved commander was part of the garrison. The last Confederation dropships left her behind following the evacuation. Ah. We flash forward in time. We're dropping in 30 seconds, people. Look sharp. Come on, Stillwell. Finish the story. Confed ditched her in a hot zone. What happened next? Humblest apologies, Jasmine, my dear, but I will have to conclude my forlorn tale another time. Whew, okay, well, we're still going. That's okay. Um, no, that was it. Hey, okay, I'm, I'm kind of glad. I'm, I, I was a sigh of relief. So, again, we flash forward in time. So, I think the whole emphasis there was Angel being a good soldier, helping rescue the civilians, which was very, very tough. 
you know, managing the teleporters on a time limit. It was really fun in Mission 17 when there was not a time limit, and you just had to think strategically with where you left your units and where you sent what you sent where. And in this one, it was like, oh god, don't let more than 10 die. And there's a time limit, and the Zerg waves just sort of get increasingly dangerous without any real indication on where they might just randomly spawn inside your base. As opposed to, like, I understand Mutalisks would come from anywhere, but then, oh wait, there's like... 50 Zerglings and 20 Hodulus that just sort of spawned by the teleporters with no indication that that could ever possibly happen. And then, again, the pathing. And then at the end, the, you know, when I lost the first time, I had no idea that there would be a second part. Oh, also evacuate these random people that are just going to spawn in places that you would have typically just evacuated. You know, once you evacuate that living area, you just assume, okay, get everybody out and consolidate. Once all those things are out, you know, you pull the military back and consolidate. But, I, I don't know, is um, interesting. Interesting to say the least. I think um, these missions do a good job at, or in the past they had done a good job at kind of telling you what to ex expect in certain places. Uh, but this one was a little too hectically blind, in my opinion. Like, it was almost as if you were forced to lose once or twice so that you had some idea what to do where, I suppose. Pose. Um, but anyway, that you know, that's just my opinion. Still very, very unique. I'm interested to see how this is going to fit into what we know about Legacy of the Confederation, as I said at the very beginning. So yeah, hey, this has been Jay Barino. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.